Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about A-B testing. Now, A-B testing is a very popular concept in the current times, especially because there's a lot of stuff that people do online. It's a valid application of the statistical concepts brought into the current times, which helps the companies determine what options or alternatives when displayed to the users will bring better engagement. It is because of A-B testing that we end up clicking on a lot of stuff knowingly or unknowingly, which is most appealing to us. Let's talk about what is A-B testing and see how it works. If you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you continue to receive the updates. Please share it with all others who might benefit. Let's get started. So there are two broad variations of A-B testing. First is that we show different creatives to similar audiences. So let's say we have a product or service which essentially caters to people of an age group of 18 to 25, relatively younger people. We've been running an ad and let's say we have a click-through rate of around 4%. So if the ad is displayed before 100 of our prospects, four of them click on it. That's our current click-through rate. Now, of course, we want to do better. How is it that we can improve it? Maybe we can make certain changes to the ad. Maybe we can make it a little more appealing. Maybe the earlier ad only had text on it and now we want to bring human faces on it. In fact, you chose to watch this video Somewhere, there was a roll of the thumbnail there. Would changing the thumbnail affect the click-through rate for a video? Maybe that's the case, and we have to experiment with it. So we continue to deal with similar audiences, the same target group, but we show different creatives to them, and then we compare the output. Now, whatever your existing audience is, that's known as the control group. And whatever audience is exposed to a new variation is known as the treatment group. Finally, we do a comparison between the click-through rates of the control group and treatment group. If the treatment group's click-through rate has improved, then obviously it means that we should go more often with the new creative. The second variation of A-B testing could be that we show the same creatives to different audiences. Now let's say we try to show the same ad to people belonging to a different geography. Maybe their age group is same, or maybe we can experiment with the age group as well. So if we were earlier targeting an age group of 18 to 25 years, maybe we can now try an age group of 25 to 30 years as well. And once again, we will do a comparison between the control group, which in our case would be 18 to 25 years, and the treatment group, which could be a different geography or a different age group. If the results show any improvement, then we redefine the audience scope. Now, let's say a company which is offering certain services, let's say the OTT services, is interested in offering a premium tier where you'd have access to some additional content, which may be very appealing. And as per the company, people should be willing to pay an extra amount for this upgrade. Now, the company may be curious to see what gets them better conversions. There's something that's known as the call to action, which essentially encourages you to take the next step after you read a description. So let's say they have three options that they're debating about. First is buy now, second is try now, and third is choose now. Now, if you see, this is already beyond A-B testing because we are not only talking about two alternatives, buy now versus try now, we are talking about buy now versus try now versus choose now. So in general, we call it A-B-N testing. The company is interested in seeing what is it that people are most likely to click on and they can experiment with the same audience, same kind of audience that they've been targeting with three different variations. They can create three different groups. One would continue to be the control group and two variations, which will be called the treatment groups. So let's say they conclude that the click-through rate on try now is a lot different compared to buy now and choose now. They would now want to display this option of try now to people because maybe people find try now as an option which is reversible. Whereas buy now is like we are spending money, we'll probably not get it back. Maybe that has a psychological effect. Now we talk about try now, is that the end of it? No, we may try more variations on it. So for try now itself, we can try multiple variations. How should the try now button be displayed? Should it be green in color? Should it be blue in color? Should it be black in color? What gets them more clicks? Let's say they zero down to green in color because that's a color of achievement or something positive. Now, there could also be another level of AV testing which would talk about the placement of the Try Now button on the screen. Should it be displayed on the top left? Should it be displayed right at the center? Or should it be displayed right at the end, the bottom right corner? where people just finish reading a description and then they just click on that option. 
So if you see, there could be many variations of the creatives that a company can create in digital space. And each of these could have significant differences compared to the other categories. Finally, whatever works the best is what the company would decide to go with. Let's say we get the best results for the bottom right option, and which is how you mostly see in a lot of creatives, a lot of ads. So that's what they zero down to. Now let's understand the step-by-step -step process for A-B testing. First thing is that we need to have clarity in terms of our goal or metric that we want to improve. Let's say in our case, we talked about the click-through rate. In certain cases, it could be a conversion rate. We are more interested in having a sale rather than just displaying the time. In case of a landing page, when you search something on Google, you often see different ads. Based on whatever you see or whatever you read, you make a click. Obviously at the back end, when you're creating an ad, Google always asks you to create a couple of variations. Only through these kind of tests, Google gets to know what is the variation for which people are more likely to click. And obviously it would optimize that further on it. So your goal definition needs to be very clear right from the beginning. Second is, what variations are you trying to create? So you need to define those variations very clearly. An existing version is version A, which is what you might have started with and you've done it for some time, but you're probably looking for improvements and you come up with other variations. You and your team needs to keep a track of these variations so that you have a good control on them. Next is assignment. So you randomly assign users to different variations. Let's say you're not trying to change your audience. You're trying to change the creatives and you are randomly displaying these variations to different users. Next is experiment execution, of course. So this needs to be run. And at times this would have technical challenges, right? So for example, if people have already downloaded a variation of a particular mobile app, which is through App Store or maybe a Play Store, how would you ensure that for certain users, you see one variation versus for some other users, you continue to display a different variation. So there is a lot of technology at times that's involved in this as well. Next is you obviously need to analyze the data. Once you have run this experiment, you need to analyze the data if you actually get some significant differences amongst the user groups, control group versus the treatment group in particular. And you may want to perform appropriate hypothesis tests for that purpose. And next is, of course, once you've performed the test, you would want to draw conclusions. You want to have your takeaways, what all changes you're going to go with. So for example, in the case that we demonstrated just some time back, we talked about choosing what we want to display that was try now in what color you want to display it. So we zeroed down to that as well and how you want to place it. So you may have to make decisions which are very particular and clear. Now let's move on to the hands-on aspect of A-B testing. 